In this video, I'll show you how to limit the purchase quantity in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Here we are on our demo site and I've set the maximum quantity a customer can purchase to free. So if we try to purchase more than three units of this particular item, as you can see, it won't allow us to go past three and we can go ahead and add this to cart. Okay, and it's not allowing us because I've already got um, an item in our cart. So if we reduce this to two and then the total will be three, we should be able to add it to cart just fine. Okay, as you can see, we're able to add it to our cart just fine. And this will apply to all products on our site, but we can take it a step further. So we can limit um, the amount a customer can purchase based on the individual product. We can set it based on the category and we can just set a global rule like I've created here. So this will apply to all products on our site. Okay, so, so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WooSuite MinMax Quantity plugin. Once you've done so, let's head over to our dashboard and I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so let's head over to our dashboard. So assuming you've downloaded a plugin, the next step is just to go ahead and upload the plugin. So you'll navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install that plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this Wii Suite menu here. Click activate, enter in your license key, and it will automatically redirect you to this add-on section. Just go ahead and activate the MinMax rule module. Okay, so we'll take you to this add-ons page here. Go ahead and activate the MinMax rules plugin. So we just toggle this to on, and then we can click manage. If we don't see this manage button, if we refresh the page, we'll see this MinMax rules menu here. So we can go ahead and click on it. How the hierarchy works is if you set, let's say for example here, we've got the maximum um, quantity allowed per product to free. Let, let's say if on a product base level, we set the maximum quantity allowed for product A, for example, to two, then that setting will override this global setting here. And if you've got a category setting, then the category setting will override the global setting. In terms of priority, it will look at the product base rule first, then the category base rule, and then this global base rule. And then on a the product level, we'll just go ahead and choose the product that we want to edit. And then when we scroll down here, we can see this min max rules um, settings here. And again, just like um, on a global level and on a category level, we get to choose who we want this rule to apply to. Then we can set the minimum quantity, the maximum quantity, quantity step, default quantity, and so on. And as I mentioned um, earlier, I've just created a maximum quantity allowed per customer to free. So here you can see it here. So the first thing we actually need to do is we need to decide who we want this rule to apply to. So we can set it to everyone, or we can set it to guest users, which are logged out users, or we can set it to a specific customer user role. Okay, if you want as well, um, we can also add the option so you can set it per user as well. Okay, so when we scroll down, we can set a minimum quantity required, and this will apply to all products across our store. So, right, so going now, we can set um, a minimum order value, a maximum order value allowed for the customer to check out. We can set a default global quantity. So this won't, so with this option here, all it will do is, let's say, for example, if we set um, five here, then on the product level, it will just show the default as being five, but the customer will still have the option to increase or reduce that quantity. Okay, so other noteworthy um, option is we can set a quantity step. So if we add two here, then um, the customer will require to increase the quantity in increments of two. Okay, we can also change the quantity selection into a drop down list. So this is the basic concept and we can add um, multiple different rules as well. So if we click add new rule, then here we can create another rule. And then this time we can target a different customer segment. Okay. Or we can just delete this rule. So again, the principle applies um, exactly the same on the product level and on the category level as well. So how we'd create a category rule is we'll navigate to the product categories and then we'll choose the category in which we want to create the rule for. So we can click on this photography category. Just click edit. Okay. And then here we've got the option to set 
um, the quantity step. So we can set the minimum quantity, the maximum quantity, and then again, we can choose who we want this rule to apply to. Okay, and then here we can choose the quantity based on the, so the cart item or the cart total. Let's say in a maximum quantity, we added five here. So if it's set to cart item, then each product will have a maximum limit of five. Okay, whereas if we've done it on a cart total, then the customer will only be able to purchase five items items within this category. Okay, so that's how we'd create it on a category level. And that's just a basic overview of how you can limit the purchase quantity in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So you've got the option to utilize the global level rule, the category based rule, and also the product based rule as well. So you can tailor the experience based on your store requirement. As always, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.